We're in the book of Genesis, chapter 2, and we're going to read verse 12. And the gold of that land is good. There is bdellium and the onyx stone. And the gold of that land was good. <laughs> uh, it's an interesting thing because throughout much of most of history, people recognized gold as being a good thing. Uh, it's right there in Genesis chapter 2. And uh, you get to the end of the book of Revelation, and there's a city made of gold. Uh, God created man to understand that gold is a good thing. And uh, a lot of people have been brainwashed and mind controlled into thinking that gold no longer is good. It's a barbaric relic of a bygone era. <laughs> it cracks me up when I hear people say that. So ridiculous. Um, been learning a lot about uh, what's going on with gold and this uh, coming dollar devaluation and possible, well not possible, it will eventually crash, but I don't know when. Um, but I learned some interesting things and I felt very compelled that I need to pass this on to my viewers. Um, yesterday, Friday, uh, what the 1st of December 2023, I think it was, here, um, gold hit its all-time high, $2,083 and some odd cents, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, I say, so what's the big deal? Who cares? It's an investment or whatever. Uh, no, you see, because I think it was 2019, uh, I learned this the other day, the Bank of International Settlements, which is the central bank of central banks, um, the BIS, uh, classified gold as a tier one asset. Um, you say, why is that important? It's very important because the only other tier one asset that I'm aware of is the American dollar. Hmm. In other words, most countries were doing business in American dollars. Uh, they were buying things and they were being given dollars in exchange and whatever else. Uh, but now you have the BRICS nations, which make up the vast majority of the world. And those BRICS nations are saying, uh, we don't want dollars anymore. We're not interested in dollars. We're going to de-dollarize. And so if the dollar loses its status as the world's reserve currency, life is going to change for the American people. And if you have all of your money in dollars, uh, life is going to change for you. A lot of people, unfortunately, have worked very hard all of their life, and they've put all their money in dollars. Well, that's not really the best idea, because when you have all your money in dollars and the dollar collapses, what happened to all the work that you've done over the years? And we have been so conditioned to think that this is some kind of a weird, bizarre thing. Oh, Brian Denlinger is suggesting that we should have gold coins or, or silver coins or platinum or there's palladium. I've never gotten much into that. This is a weird get-quick-rich scheme. Um, no, brethren, it's actually 6,000 years, nearly 6,000 years of history recorded in the scriptures. The gold of that land is good. You know, the gold of America was once a good thing. For hundreds of years, that was all that was there. Gold and silver. And it controls inflation. You can't make gold and silver just out of thin air, like you can paper currency, and even more so with digital money. So, what's coming? Well, we have had our gold and silver taken from us back in the 20th century. 1933, the gold was taken. 1965, the silver was taken out of our coinage. Again, 200 years ago. Go back in a time machine 200 years ago. You should have gold and silver. People say, well, of course. What else is there? You know, there might have been a few printed currencies around back then, but not that much. But uh, we're coming to the end of the dollar, brethren. And uh, this is not some kind of a thing of, well, gold is now, you know, going up, it's skyrocketing, and you can make the tons of money and whatever. No, the dollar's actually crashing. And that's the way you have to look at this thing. Um, gold is a way that you preserve what money you have. Paper currency is going to be devalued. And uh, another thing that I saw recently, there's a guy from the UK, an uh, economics type of guy, he's, he's a British man, and, and um, he was talking about gold being revalued in 2024, you know, probably even January of 2024. 
and uh, I've not heard anybody else talking about this, did a little bit of research on it, and there are a few articles written about this thing of gold being revalued. Because, again, the dollar has been there as a competing, as, as not competing, but uh, taking over. And people are so lustful with dollars, you know, and the average American, if you had a room of gold, if you had a pile of gold coins and a pile of cash, they'd go for the cash. Not understanding that um, it's actually the gold that's worth more. And uh, you can take gold, and again, the, the dumbest argument, well, you can't, what can you do with gold? You can't eat gold, you can't this and that. Somebody says that, they just prove how ignorant they are. Uh, you can take a gold coin to coin shops and you can sell it. You can sell a gold coin on eBay. You can go to lots of places and get money for your gold coin easily. And uh, you say, well, dollars are quicker until the, they become worthless. But what do you do with paper? Okay. You could have a gold coin that has a country's, you know, we'll say, a, a, you know, constitutional, like an old gold Indian head $20 piece or something. And uh, eventually, you know, Russia takes over America or something just to prove a point here. And they say, we don't recognize that anymore. Okay, melt it down and turn it into the, into the new Russian coin. <laughs> See, how can you do that with paper? Erase the dollar bill and put Russian ruble on it or something like that. Just cross out dollar and put ruble. <laughs> oh, and it's worth the money now. No, it isn't. Um, just a terrible thing. But here in the last week or two, OPEC has also it used to be that they had to deal in dollars you want to get oil you have to use dollars so china comes along they say we'll give you yuan for oil no it has to be converted your yuan has to be converted to dollars just to make this whole thing simple now they're saying no we don't want dollars anymore that's becoming a major issue oil is one of the biggest things out there oil produces plastic oil produces pharmaceutical drugs think about that um, oil produces vehicles, it produces heat, it produces clothing, it produces so much. We're very reliant on, on petroleum type of things right now. So the petrodollar is also crashing. Um, I'm telling you what, it's going to get very bad for people that hold all of their wealth in dollars. Uh, it's not even wealth, it's, it's a, a dollar. Again, the Federal Reserve note came out originally saying that this, you know, is redeemable in lawful money. You can look at the old dollar bills and that's what they had, the $20 bills had that. You can go to a Federal Reserve Bank and redeem it in lawful money. What was lawful money? Gold and silver. Then they took that off. Um, so all the people out there that are trying to tell you that it doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't mean anything, who cares, whatever, you know, not important, uh, it's very important. And, um, you know, America has been using the dollar to keep the value of gold suppressed. And there, there's been lots of scheming and stuff like that. They've been doing paper gold certificates and whatever else to try to say, oh, this is just as good as gold. You know, we have the gold in a vault someplace. Again, that's what the Federal Reserve is supposed to be. They're supposed to have uh, gold at Fort Knox that backs up the dollar. Well, that's obviously a lie. That's not true. They don't have enough gold, you know, 33 trillion in gold, please. Of course not. Um, and again, you understand the thing of fractional reserve banking. That's another thing that you have to look into if you don't understand these things. Very important. Um, the banks, you go in there and you say, I have $10,000 in the bank. Just to come up with a number. Um, the bank doesn't have $10,000. Doesn't have that $10,000. They spend it. Um, literally, my wife got a American Banking Association, their actual textbook, found it used at a used a bookstore in the area, Salvation Army, actually, their used book section. And it literally says, if you get $1 in, then you need to lend out that $1 to other people. You think, no, yeah, $1, they will spend that $1. Looks like I'm getting some little... Um, Little drops of things here on the lens. Sorry about that. Try to keep this lens clean. This camera is just awful. The lens cover doesn't cover it quite right and I get dust on it and whatever. So I apologize for some of the spotty look for this thing, but um, that's another issue. 
But uh, brethren, what I'm trying to say is I would be remiss in my duty as a preacher to not warn you of danger. I warn you of dangers in health. I warn you of dangers in the spiritual world of using one of these new versions that comes from the Vatican. New Bible versions, if you don't know what I'm talking about. Very deadly, very dangerous things. They, they turn Jesus into a liar in many different portions of Scripture. They teach false doctrine. Um, again, it's been a... It's been a uh, Egyptian Bible versus Assyrian Bible ever since the beginning of the uh, New Testament was being written. Paul's writing about people uh, changing the scriptures, changing the word of God. It was going on in the first century and it's still going on today. Um, I warn you about everything I can. That's, you know, what I do. That's, what, that's my job. I take that very seriously. Um, you coming to my church building someplace and me telling you about how much you need to pray and how much you need to give 10% of your tithe and and uh, whatever, be a good person and good citizen, a good worker. Well, that's not really helping you. Maybe a slight little bit of helping, but uh, you know, I'm not going to provide a social club for people to come and just enjoy the fellowship. You know, I, I do enjoy fellowshipping with Christians. Don't get me wrong, but what I'm saying is there's a lot more to it than that. And I can't warn you of everything. I can't hold your hand and and um, guide you through this world and whatever. You have to do some research on your own. And a lot of what I'm telling you here, you need to look into it for yourself. And if you're, you know, Catholic watching this or an atheist watching this or whatever, you need to take heed to what I'm saying. Don't just, you know, write me off as some, this guy's a religious nut. He's a kook. I like to watch him to make fun of him and whatever. Listen to what I'm saying. Take heed to what I'm saying. All right. Um, you know, the, the banking system here in America is another thing. 64 bank branch closures in about a week or two. Not long ago here, the end of November, just a few days ago. That was news that, that came out. Uh, there will be more bank closures. And again, you have all these um, different business people, political pundits and whatever, and they're coming out and telling you that the economy is good. But if you look at what they're doing, a lot of them are selling off the stock in their, you know, Jamie Dimon, you know, J.P. Morgan and Chase CEO, and he's selling stock in his own bank. That should be cause for concern. You know, <laughs> if your bank is doing good, you don't sell your stock in it. But, uh, you know, understand the bigger picture here, brethren. Um, you can have, you can restart things and say, well, I'll just go into the new system that comes out, the central bank digital currency or whatever. Or you can say, you know what, I'm going to try to preserve some of what the Lord has given me, what the Lord has blessed me with, and have precious metals, because that's historically what people had. Again, it's not some kind of a get-rich-quick scheme. No, historically, biblically, scripturally, that's how you preserve wealth. And you can get it fairly cheap. Go buy some silver dimes or something, buy a few of them. Um, well, that won't be enough. Well, you know... If people just constantly want to come up with arguments and, and things and whatever else to go against it. Um, you know, and, oh, brother, you, you know, you can't save enough, up enough to buy anything. Well, I, I have something to tell you. It's kind of shocking. Um, when we first came to Maine, most of the money that we put into buying our property, the very first property I ever owned, was precious metals that I sold at a coin shop. So I bought land... Originally, when we first came here, I bought 66 acres of land with precious metals. So, yes, you can buy things with precious metals. Don't believe that lie that they're just useless and they're just for, for collecting and whatever else. No, no. So, there's a lot more I could say about this thing, but uh, we're seeing the de-dollarization of this country. It's happening, and, um, and I think over the next month or two... You know, now that we're in December, I think things are going to really accelerate. And um, and I just want to say one thing too: these wicked banksters, what they want to do, they want to have a financial crisis, tear down the dollar. Um, there's actually two Jews right now, two economic advisors to Biden. One, the female, uh, she's it's Jared Bernstein is the guy, and then the female, it's some weird name I forget. She was born and raised in Germany in Denmark or something. I forget. But uh, she was sitting on the Federal Reserve's, uh, she was a chairman at the Federal Reserve or something before being appointed by Biden to the political office that she's in. 
you know, <laughs> yeah, that's good. You want somebody from the Federal Reserve to, you know, advise with finances. Real smart. But uh, they want to destroy the dollar. And then they can bring in, they just take, tear down the dollar, people lose everything, and then they can say, okay, if you want your money back, then you have to sign up for central bank digital currencies, the Fed Now program. See, and it just, just should slide right in there and everything will be fine and we'll implement our new system. Uh, not hardly, because this whole system of central bank digital currencies, it's not that close to being implementable, all right? Um, there's a lot of people that do business with, with cash. There's a lot of people that do not use digital type of money. You know, there are still older people and weirdos like me that actually prefer to use cash. Uh, so you can't just say we're just going to destroy the dollar and then bring in the new system. You know, burning the phoenix to bring in the, the phoenix will be reborn or something like the satanic people do. Uh, no, it doesn't work that way. So uh, what's going to be the future? How are they going to do this thing? I don't know. I really don't know. But I know that the, the safest thing that you can do, if you stick by the word of God, is have gold and silver. They are mentioned in the scriptures. Platinum is not in the scriptures, um, but it's fine to have some of that. Uh, historically, platinum has been worth more than gold. Right now it's about half the price of gold. So I've talked about that in another video. It might be a good time to get some of that. If you have some money, it'd be good to have at least some precious metals. Um, don't break your neck trying to get them and you know spend everything that you have and then complain at me or something but because you don't have any cash around and you can't buy groceries or something you know you can still go to the coin shop and turn a coin in but still be wise about it be smart about it but um, I'm seeing some major move type of stuff happening right now brethren and I don't want to see any of my viewers get wiped out I really don't uh, I think it's very important to um, protect yourself financially. It's just a reality of this world. Oh, well, you know, I wish we didn't have to have money and we could just live in a thing. No, no, you know, um, we're not in the thousand year kingdom yet. And uh, we're not going to be bringing in the thousand year kingdom. Jesus Christ brings that in and he has to tell us what to do when that time comes. So until then, you have to provide for your own. And if you don't, you're worse than an infidel and you denied the faith, according to 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 8, I think it is. Um, please take heed to my advice here. Look into it. Study this stuff. Uh, don't go to Dave Ramsey because that guy's an idiot. I will say that freely. He's an idiot. He goes against gold. He doesn't understand the scriptures. He doesn't understand economics. Might tell people how to get out of debt or whatever else, but uh, if you're against gold, you are not aware of the big picture of things and uh so but that will be it and uh a bunch of different things here to get done i've been working hard at a couple projects that needed to be finished up um getting some snow right now if you can see that it's supposed to get snow for a couple of days now and so it's going to be time to uh, do all the snow removal and everything else so but that will be it. We will see you in upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching.